This video will take you through the steps required to properly install the Coor C859-9004 front load adapter on the OptiVantage dual head injector. Going through the items that you're going to find in the adapter kit, you have the adapter body, which is two concentric rings attached to the inner ring on the bottom of the assembled adapter body you will find a, a magnet that rotates with the inner ring we will uh, refer to that later in the uh, installation the wire tie that's on these two is to keep them in correct orientation during shipment this wire tie needs to be removed as you begin the assembly of the um, adapter onto the injector you have the RAM extension, the RAM sleeve, the RAM tip, and the cone. These two small screws are to secure the RAM tip. They have um, a small amount of pre-applied Loctite on them. You'll notice they'll be a little bit snug as you're tightening them. We also have this screw and washer which are to attach the cone onto the RAM tip. This clip is uh, supplied to you in the event that you would like to uh, utilize the OEM heater on the Coor syringe. And of course you have the printed instructions that we'll be following during this video. You also have a features and benefits page, a frequently asked questions, and of course the um, installation record which needs to be uh, completely filled out one copy left with the account, one copy sent in to the Lebanon, Tennessee offices of Coor. Step one on the instructions is to remove the wire tie that was mentioned earlier. So we're simply going to cut that wire tie and remove it, uh, making sure that we're not rotating the two collars, keeping the orientation as it was uh, before the removal of the wire tie. The next thing that we need to do is we need to remove the 200 ml faceplate so that we can begin the installation of the core adapter. So we're going to run the ram to the full retract position. Notice the full retract position is the 200 ml position. There's a couple more things that we have to do that are detailed on the um, instructions in order to remove the faceplate. Uh, number one, is you need to flip this lever to the unlock position. That will allow you to utilize the um, hand crank on the ram to retract the ram even further. This will be the 204 ml position. Once it's in that position, you can simply slide the um, faceplate off of the injector. Step number three is going to detail out disassembly of the 200 ml faceplate so that we can uh, continue in installing the core adapter. First thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, remove the set screw that holds the blue button in place. This is done utilizing a 1 Allen wrench. So we're going to fully back that screw out that holds that button on. So we've taken that set screw out simply uh, pull the button off. I'm going to set those parts aside for now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this trim ring and this is a snap-on trim ring recommending the use of a tool that's fairly substantial and also has a little bit of a bevel to uh, get underneath that ring. So you're simply going to get underneath that ring and you're going to uh, you're going to pop it up. This one came off quite easily. 
Uh, they don't always come off that easily. Uh, I would caution against the use of a small screwdriver. You might uh, inadvertently do some damage to the trim ring. So we're going to take the trim ring off. The next step is to remove the two screws that hold the two halves of the face plate together uh, utilizing a Phillips head screwdriver. Those two screws are removed Then you can split the two halves of the face plate and you will remove the pressure sleeve and the lever. So what you'll do at this point is you will uh, store these components. These are the OEM components that can be used to restore the injector and this faceplate back to its original condition. The two halves, the trim ring and these two screws we will utilize as we continue the installation. Step number four is to place these components that you have removed uh, into a storage bag. You can utilize one of the bags that uh, the uh, injector components came in in the kit. Uh, of course, what you're wanting to do here is to make sure that these are, are not lost and are given to the account to store in a safe place if they would ever uh, desire to uh, return to the uh, use of the uh, other syringe and restore the condition of this faceplate. Proceeding with step five, we're going to install the adapter body into the uh, faceplate halves that we have just disassembled. Uh, you'll notice that there are two distinct halves to this. Um, looking at it from the back, you have the square notch with the fixed magnet. So that is the first component that we're going to work with is the, the half with the, the square notch and the fixed magnet. What we're going to do is we're going to take the adapter body and uh, locate it into the, uh, that half of the face plate. And this movable magnet that we mentioned earlier is installed with towards this uh, stationary magnet. And then you have to um, rotate this just a bit until it finds its position where it fully locks into being uh, fully seated into the face plate. So the, um, that is what it will look like as you have the um, adapter body installed into the first half of the face plate. Then you simply take the other half of the face plate, slide it together. You will uh, reuse the screws that hold the two face plate halves together and tighten those up. Once that's done, you want to put the trim ring back on. Uh, it's a snap ring. So what we have is uh, simply a, uh, a turned piece of plastic that allows you to uh, put that on without damaging it. And it's uh, simply, once it's on, it's simply just going ahead and popping that on so that it's fully seated. So now we have the Adapt the core adapter body installed into the faceplate.